Welcome and hello to our Saints Media Lab newsreel for the first term of 2022. This was a tricky term with lots of obstacles to overcome, but we managed to come through as a school and we are happy that as the Media Lab, we can report about it. Our first newsreel during the opening lockdown weeks of the term reported about the prefix workshop that introduced the new prefix into their role at the college. We spoke to one of them who told us about their activities and what they learned at the workshop. Today there's a prefix workshop where everyone was selected to be a prefix. So we're here to just learn the procedures and what we're meant to do, the things we're meant to follow, and leadership rules as we lead the school this year. We discussed what leadership should look like, and we discussed that what happened several years ago compared to today, the leadership and the rules that people followed are different, and that we should be able to adapt to the times when we're leading the school of 2022. I love the diversity, how everyone has different ways to lead. Everyone has their own way. Everyone is able to enrich each other with different knowledge from what they've learned before. So I think it will be an exciting year. And what I look forward to be able to make an impact to everyone who I lead this year, to all from everyone from the form one to the upper sixes, being able to help them and lead them to be able to become leaders of the future. That's why, would you agree? Would you agree? Yes. This year's prefix have a big role to play in, guiding their fellow students in the times of the pandemic. But they will have learned a lot to successfully lead a student body through the different conditions of studying in these circumstances. Another introduction under lockdown conditions happened in the opening weeks of the term, when the new seniors, the lower six students, were introduced to life at St. George's. We spoke to one of the newcomers and heard what he thought about how things are done here. I went on the internet and I was looking for a very good school that offers both the education and the sporting facilities and also offers a place where we can exchange culture and I found St. George's. Um, lower six new students have come today to also get to see the school for orientation day and get a few of what it's like to learn here. So my name is Kennedy Kudakwashe Munyakwe and I'm from Star Leadership Academy and I'm 18 years. This is just grand. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be so lively and um, the, the infrastructure is very beautiful here. Um, it's, it's, it's very beautiful and also the idea that the people here are so welcoming. Um, I didn't have any difficulty talking to the staffs and even the headmaster, Mr. Farelli. I hope to not only be focused on the academics, um, I also want to do sport, um, club activities, cultural activities, um, clubs such as the Leo Club or Toastmasters and hopefully I hope to live as an individual who can better my community with the education and social skills that I hope to get from St. George's. In the opening weeks of the term, during lockdown, only the exam candidates were allowed to attend classes, but later the school could open for all the students. So the new four months were invited for their orientation day, where they had a first view of how it really is to study at St. George's. Before the new term started with lessons and attendance, St. George's College invited all the new Form 1 students for an orientation day. They were introduced into online teaching methods at the college, their online classes and logins. St. George's College is adjusting as much as possible to the online needs during lockdown. A tour through the relevant facilities was conducted by St. George's Prefects, and the new Form 1s were given a chance to meet their new teachers for the various subjects. Then they went through a number of housekeeping instructions, for example, on how to receive, label, and treat textbooks and exercise books. St. George's has almost 800 students, and so all the new Form 1s had to be shown their lockers and receive their locks and keys. Orientation day at St. George's cannot be complete without a visit and introduction to the chapel as an integral part of the college. So by now we are certain that this year's Form 1 students are feeling at home at St. George's. 
In the long line of memorable and important staff members at St. George's College, the boarding masters have always played a special role for the students. And Mr. Maposa, the current boarding master, is no exception. We have sat down with Mr. Maposa to speak about his role, his relationship to the school, and to see him at his work with the students. My name is Ronnie Maposa. I am the boarding master and head of design and technology at St. George's College. I did my teacher training at the University of South Wales teaching design and technology. When I came here, I started the department, it was just me by myself, and fortunate enough, I was appointed assistant boarding master. So that is when my experience in boarding started. Our, our boarders, you know, they experience, you know, a community of uh, collaboration, where they discover and learn new things together. As the boarding master, I'm responsible for the smooth running of the boarding house. I'm also responsible for the guidance and supervision of the boarding staff, and most importantly, the safety and welfare of my boarding students. We've got a system in place um, which has enabled us to, to deal effectively with, um, with COVID-related matters. Uh, when our boys go for breaks, when they come back, they get tested on, on coming back into hostel. And anyone who is positive, um, they get to isolate at home if they live local. And for those students who live abroad, we have got a, a dormitory where they can isolate in. Um, and then we manage it after seven days or so, we retest and they join the rest of the school. Uh, my favorite moment was actually my wedding day here. It actually took place in the college chapel and uh, Father Arimoso, he conducted the ceremony. And it was, it was exciting because all the border boys, they're actually my guests. Actually, you know, uh, they are, it's their father's wedding because I look after 110 boys here. So it was so special. We wish Mr. Maposa all the best and lots of strength and patience for the continuation of his role. At the end of the term, the school returned to a certain normalcy, although under strict COVID safety protocols. But more and more activities could be held at the school, and so the Intel's Athletics became the first great opportunity for parents and students to come together at the school. We recorded the whole event and live streamed parts of it on our YouTube channel, and we'll show you some highlights of our live broadcast. After a long year with very few sporting events, the St. George's crowd was out in full force for the Intel's Athletics Meeting 2022. We were very happy to stream this event live, despite some technical challenges with our broadband connection. Nevertheless, we would like to bring you some highlights from our broadcast stream, as we witnessed some great athletic performances. The Under-15 had an especially successful day and delivered two school records in the 80-meter hurdles race, as well as a shot put event. The senior girls also performed very well. And a really remarkable achievement and maybe the highlight of the day was the new school record for the under-16s by Gavin Zua, who ran 100 meters in 10.93 seconds. It looks like Joanne took that one. Another great delivery came from senior Ajinoda Ishebere, who very closely missed the under-20 school record of 2.05 meters. In the end, the overall winner of 2022 was House Gardner, who won the Intel's Athletics Trophy as well as the Cross Country Cup. As you can see, many of the regular school calendar events were still happening this year, even though the time to hold and organize them had become much shorter. And the college also could not neglect to welcome prospective future students to give them an impression about the school and to help them in their decision-making process to choose their future secondary school. Near the end of term one, prospective new students and their parents were invited for an open day at our college. Mostly grade servants from various schools were given guided tours on the grounds and buildings. They could visit many of the facilities at St. George's campus, as well as the chapel. They were shown and could hear about many opportunities that students at St. George's have at the college. The visits also included viewings and introductions of the different science and learning centers, the methods of teaching and learning offered, and the visitors saw presentations of the school's many clubs and societies, and many of them were very impressed by all this. I'm quite impressed. My son likes to do graphics and designing and wants to do architecture, so the school seems to be offering like a, ba a basis for that. I think the, what impressed me the most 
was the people, like how they dress well, their manners are nice. So today I've actually spoken to a few students which I found very insightful. I'm expecting a wide choice uh, of options because um, I've known St. George's to be able to, to balance. So it will give my son that um, chance to choose from that wide variety. We're looking forward to welcome many of those who were given a glimpse of our college and were introduced to all the school facilities back in the next year as real St. George's students. And at last, we would like to thank our wonderful supporters who came out in great numbers after such a long time of pandemic restrictions. So now we could see and hear them help the St. George's athletes to achieve such great sporting performances. Mm -hmm.